Jana tulisikia maneno yote aliongea kule Busia. Na akasema ya kwamba mambo ya housing levy is unstoppable. Hiyo inamaanisha nini kwa wa Kenya? That means whether we like it or not. Whatever Ruto amekusudia atafanya. Whether wa Kenya wanalia ama wanacheka. Whether tumekubali ama tumekataa. Number two, misijui ni misadvise ama hakubali advice ya wengine. Kwa sababu as we speak Kenya aslimia tisini imekataa mambo ya taxation include the members of parliament wa UDA lakini tunalazimishwa kwa sababu ye anaona that is the only option how to get money to run the government yes kulipa ushuru ni kujitegemea but we have been paying for all those years in the past regime alikweko hatukuwa tunalipa ushuru and how uhuru manage in a span of 10 years without imposing new taxes to the Kenyans so this hi ambayo ruto analete kwa leo ninajua ya kwamba hii ni kuadaa wa Kenya na ninajua ya kwamba yote mtu mmoja atauliza ya kwamba mimi nimebakisha miaka tano niende retire nitakatu wa house levy ya 3% kwa salary ina span ya miaka tano nimeenda retire hizo zingine zitakatwa wapi ama hizi itakuwa imekatwa miaka tano itakuwa imetosha kujenga hiyo nyumba na niishi saa hizi uchumi ya nchi iko juu ya magoti tuko katika vaji ya kujiva na ninataka mr president wherever you are this morning ninajua wiki tumeanza leo ni mambo na hii wiki ndio hiyo bill inaenda ku, kupelekwa katika bunge kukuwa introduced and i want to tell you this morning ya kwamba hiyo bill hata kama itapita jinsi opposition ilisema hata kama itapita katika bunge tutakutana kotini tutakutana barabarani but with all means we will ensure ya kwamba hiyo bill haita sell through katika njia yoyote ile na tutasimama kidete hata kama ulisema we ni amri jeshi mkuu uliamua the sovereignty of the constitution lies with the people of Kenya does not lie kwa amri jeshi mkuu mwa raia wa chini hapo na nguvu kuliko wewe Ruto tuko na nguvu kuliko ndani ya hiyo katiba sisi hatujapewa limit we have been given the sovereignty the power as the people of Kenya to stand firm and to say no to impunity and that's why tunataka tukwambie we are ready wewe ni chief amri jeshi mkuu utatumaliza wote na utawale ninamshukuru sana senator wa busia ukia omtata kwa sababu ameonyesha ujasiri na ameonyesha kwa wa Kenya ya kwamba yeye alipoenda katika Senate hakuenda kutumikia William Ruto bali alienda kutumikia raia wake kwa busia jana tumemuona amesimama wima na akazungumza mbele ya bwana Ruto akamwambia ya kwamba niko mbioni kuelekea katika makama hili nikasimamisha hii jambo kwa sababu ni jambo ambalo inataka kudendamiza wa Kenya 
alisimama na msimamo pasipo kununuliwa kwa sababu utumbo yake haikumpeleka kwa wabunge ninamshukuru sana na ninaomba wabunge wote wa nchi yetu ikiwa ulichaguliwa na ukaenda kwa bunge hebu jaribu ukajitole ukawatumikie wa Kenya ambao walifanya ukaenda katika bunge wacha kuogopa mtu ukiangalia tu utumbo yako jana kwa taifa leo imeandika ya kuomba wabunge wa UDA wako katika nchi ya kapanda hawajui warudi right ama left kwa, kwa sababu wanaona ya kwamba hii bill ni mzito kwa wananchi na hii bill ikipita uende kwa mwananchi akapitia kitabu mingi zaidi hivyo roho yake anataka ya kwamba akaangushe hiyo bill lakini ameogopa bosi yake ambaye ni William Ruto ninawaambia wajumbe wote wa Kenya siku ambalo ili jambo itaenda katika bunge simameni mara na mkambie rais no atuwezi kupitisha kitu mbaya tumeona imeandikwa kwa gazeti ya kwamba tukuchangie pesa ya kwenda kutangatanga hivi tumeona kwa nature imeandikwa tukupe pesa tuchange pesa ya kukupea kwenda kutangatanga kwa fika hizi za hivi ni aibu kubwa sana tangu maraisi wote watoke hatujasikia mambo kama hii hata mungeficha mdanganye watu vile unasoea kutanganya ungesema ya kwamba watu wachange pesa iingie kwa usuru ingine kuliko kusema ati pesa zinaenda kutanga tukupe pesa ya kwenda kutangatanga hii umetembea inje hakuna kitu ambayo unaenda kuletea wa Kenya ni masafari zako tu At, sijui kama tulikuchagua ya kwenda kuenjoy kutembea tembea tu bila na wakenya wanakuwa na shida wanazunguka mimi naitwa Richard Ogeta na mimi ni mtu ya Kenya kwanza nimesikia mkipiga kelele oh vitu zimepanda oh vitu mnataka serikali iende aje bila vitu kupanda na iendelee aje na mjue hii serikali yetu bado ni changa hata wewe ukiama kwa nyumba leo lazima upange hii upange hii upange hii hiyo nyumba pange hiyo ndio ninawaambia watu wa opposition mkae pole pole tupange serikali na mfanye kazi kufanye kazi kwa njia mzuri na hata mkipiga kelele serikali uchaguzi ilikuwa imeisha hakuna siku tutaenda uchaguzi <laughs> na tunaomba hata hivi America sasa hivi wako na 30 trillion deni hii deni yetu kidogo ya Kenya ndio tunataka tuongeze deni ili Kenya iendelee mbele na hata ninashukuru sana Mr. Rivid. Aliongea kitu ya maana sana. Serikali ni kampuni. Kampuni unanunua share order, usiponunua share, hiyo kampuni sio yako. Sasa nyinyi watu wa opposition tunajipanga 2027. Muki msipojipanga muingie kwa hiyo kampuni mtakaa nje tu. Mtaendelea tu kupiga kelele na tunasema hiyo opposition mnasema maandamano muachane naye. Wacha raia wafanye kasi. Ata 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 vitu vitu zikiongezeka hata Zimbabwe watu walikuwa wananunua mkate karibu shilingi 1500 na gunia na watu wanaendelea kule mwenye amekufa tutakufa wacha Ruto aendelee na kasi apange serikali mlikuwa mmeshindwa na mkishashindwa sasa kelele kila siku kelele kelele kila mahali mara maandamano mara wapi mnaribu mnaribu biashara ya watu Ninaomba ya kwamba sisi kama watu serikali tumesimama na serikali imara na tutakubali hii ukusi hii opposition wanaleta <laughs> mwenye ataleta shida tutadeal na wewe kweli kweli kabisa ile ili serikali iendelee mbele ama mnataka tukae kama Somali Have you ready <laughs> Mnataka tukae kama Somalia yeah, Hatutaki kukaa kama Somalia tunataka kukaa kama inti ya Kenya ndio naomba wale wanapiga kelele pande hii pande hii wengine nasikia wanaosema mheshimiwa Tuli atete wafanye kazi hiyo ni kazi yake lakini lazima kazi iko kwa mpango sio waamuke tu asubuhi mnaanza hii na hii ndio naomba watu wa serikali wale tuko hapa ukae gangari hii watu wa opposition wanapiga kelele kila mahali waachana na hao
na muendelee na kazi bunge hoi bunge pawa leo tuko hapa kukosoa bwana Ruto kwa ile kitu yeye alisema jana eti yeye si mlevi Ruto heri mlevi kushinda jangili wewe jana ulisema ati wewe si mlevi ndio maana unapandisha tax tax hata tulikuwa na mlevi hapa hakutupandisha tax hivyo na nataka ni wasome kitu moja hapa leo Musikie vile pesa ya Kenya inatumika vibaya na mtu ambaye anaitwa Zakayo William Ruto. Na tumbembelezi tunamwambia. Kuna kitu hapa ambaye imeandika kwa, kwa Star. The National Treasury allocated William Ruto cash 700 million for foreign trips in the financial year beginning July tare moja. However Ruto demanded and, uh, and additional cash 1.1.3 billion resigning for the figure rising for the figure to to 2 billion pending parliament approval it was recently established that that the executive office of the president in the period through january spent cash 9.09 billion bunge hoi bunge power hii mtu ambaye anaitwa zakayo ananyanyasa wa kenya na hakuna faida inyanaletea wa kenya na tunataka kumwambia bwana Ruto Ruto jaribu kukuwa na roho ya watu. Wata, wacha kunyanyasa wa Kenya ili wewe usafiri kwa njia za kwa vitu zenye zileti faida. Wacha kunyanyasa wa Kenya hivyo Mr. Ruto. Ruto wewe leo hii kuuza dina yako ni kama kuuza nguruwe Saudi Arabia. Bunge hoi. Bunge leo Ruto leo hii mtu akisikia tu dina yako ati unaitwa Ruto president inanuketa wa Kenya matungo ya nguruwe. Bunge hoi. Bunge hoi. Ruto the fact umenyanyasa wa Kenya na umenyanyasa wa Kenya sana. Tunataka kukwambia bwana Ruto jaribu kukuwa na roho ya watu. Jaribu kukuwa na roho ya utu. Umenyanyasa wa Kenya sana tunaumia. Wa Kenya wana kazi, wa Kenya wana ajira. Wanaingi tibim. Bunge hoi. Thank you very much. My names are Mr. President Robert Makoha Wangoho, clap for me. <laughs> okay, now we don't have much to waste uh, a lot of time here. Uh, let me begin by trying to enlighten the mass that is gathered here. For your information, if you are not aware about the finance bill, understand that. It is right now under the public participation stage and that is to say that you as a citizen of Kenya you have the right to change finance bill waambie serikali kwamba it is not the right time time is not right for you to deduct Kenyan civil servants that 3% housing levy why am i saying so Yesterday and last week you are all the parastatos and other entities were subjected into ensuring that there is public participation out of 84 entities that participated in vetting the issue of housing finance 74 entities have rejected in totality the finance bill of the year 2023 only 10 entities are supporting the finance bill so kama 84 entities 84 entities they require for public participation and 10 entities are the only ones that are supporting that means the government is forcing something whose time has not come while at a funeral in Kakamega County Kakamega senator as well as as many leaders said that they were not supporting the bill and they also said those members of parliament when you want a petition a bill we shall begin the, the campaigning them and we shall launch the signatures so that we send them back home because Mwanainji amechoka as the president of bunge la mwanainji nakuru yuko tayari kwa maandamano sababu Ruto ameprove kwamba atarudi nyuma so nini na aji kanisa nini kanisa ndio mlitayarisha hii serikali na hii serikali ile kitu yote itazaliwa 
ni juleni sababu e, mulimba na mkaimba vizuri ni maombi si uchawi hii maneno yote inatunaiona e, kuna mabisho na mabasta na watu wengine wa kanisa waliujihusisha na mambo ya siasa sana na ndio hiyo sababu mnaona masaa yake ni nini mimi napongeza sana bishop mmoja wa Kavale kiuko hembu. Alikataa mambo ya, ya siasa kabisa. Pia kuna kanisa ya SDA. SDA alikataa mambo ya siasa kabisa. Sasa nimekubali masao yale ukipanda begu utavuna be. Buga ye. Buga ye. 